What's up guys, the Panthers here, and welcome to some FIFA 15 Legend Ratings. All of the new Legend Ratings have been released. Let's take a look at them. First up, guys, we have got number 15, Carlos Valderrama, 86 rated cam, 4 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves. Not impressed with his card, to be fair, perfectly fair. 72 shooting, 26 defending, 48 physical. 85 passing and 86 dribbling is okay, but only 68 pace and 72 shooting. He doesn't look very good. No disrespect, he doesn't look very good. Next up, we have got Andreas Brahm. He's got 5-star weak foot with 3-star skill moves and is the first of the new left backs in the game. And uh, he's 87 rated with 89 pace, 86 defending, 86 physical... 82 passing and 75 dribbling makes him look like one of the best left backs in the goddamn game. He looks very, very good. Next up, guys, we've got JJ Okocha, the five-star skiller. Of course, he was in the BPL for a while, playing for Bolton. Uh, weak foot four-star, and his card looks sick. Absolutely sick. Apart from his physical, which he is a bit weak, uh, 90 dribbling, 84 pace, 81 passing, and 80 shooting with those five-star skill moves looks so damn good. I can't wait to get my hands on him. Next up, guys, we have got Brian Laudrup. Three-star weak foot, four-star skill moves, and he's got a deadly-looking card. 87 pace and 88 dribbling as a center forward with 83 shooting and 80 passing. I personally think he would be better suited as a cam, even though I do understand now that heading is in shooting. Um, so he could actually have really good heading and make him an incredible striker because he is six foot one. So yeah, he looks absolutely insane. Next up, guys, we have got the England legend Bobby Moore, 88 rated centre back, 77 pace, 87 defending, and 84 physical is all you really need. But on top of that, he's also got 74 dribbling and 79 passing, making him a really, really strong centre back. Other than maybe a lack of a bit of pace, which even like 77 for a defender is really solid. But you know, some of the better defenders in the game, like Thiago Silva, have got 80 plus but you know 77 is still solid with that great defending and great physical stats he looks absolutely awesome next up guys we've got another of the left backs Roberto Carlos wow like honestly wow first things first I don't like I I think he should have four star skill moves but hey that's just me he's Brazilian that's just me um he's got a crazy good looking card 91 pace and 84 passing 82 defending, 85 physical, and 81 shooting. Holy shit. He looks brilliant. In at number nine, guys, we've got Roy Keane. 71 pace, 71 shot, 81 passing, 86 defending, and 90 physical. Probably a bit unfair, 90 physical, right? Like, I'd say Roy Keane, maybe 95 physical. He likes a good old leg breaker every now and then. But that card looks really good. Uh, it's It's... It's going to be awkward to get him in good teams unless you use him with other legends because he is Irish, um, which could pose a problem. But next up, guys, we have got Michael Loudrop, the other Loudrop brother, uh, twin brother even. 89 rated cam, a much better looking card. 85 pace, 89 dribbling, 87 passing, a fantastic looking cam with four star skill moves and a three star weak foot, 73 shooting as well. Very nice indeed. And then in seventh place, guys, we have got Laurent Blanc, 89 rated 80 pace, 90 defending, 84 physical. Holy moly. Imagine him and Desai as a centre-back pairing. Holy shit. That would be so good. In at number six, guys, we've got Alan Shearer. Three-star skill moves, three-star weak foot, 78 pace. I personally think that's a bit too low, but hey, you know, maybe I, I could be wrong there. Uh, 90 shooting and 84 physical. He will be a clinical finisher, an out and out striker. I really, I love Alan Shearer. I can't wait to use Alan Shearer. I think, I hope he's going to be a really good legend card to use. Next in at fifth place, guys, we've got Emilio Batragueno. And uh, he's got four star weak foot, three star skill moves. But look at those stats, man 91 pace, 88 shooting, and 87 dribbling. Yeah, he's a bit weak. But he's got crazy good stats for a striker. And that takes us into the number four spot, guys, which is, uh, of course, Peter Schmeichel, the goalkeeper. That goalkeeper card looks absolutely dumb, like so dumb. I, I don't actually know if it looks as good as um, uh, the Van der Sar card, actually. I can't remember exactly the stats on Van der Sar's card. But he's got 88 diving, 93 reflexes, 82 handling, 83, 85 positioning, beg your pardon, and 83 kicking crazy good looking card anyway these new legends look so good apart from one or two they look so so good in at third place guys we've got stoichkov 
four star skill moves with three star weak foot and probably one of the most complete legends that we've seen um, in, in the game in total, really. Imagine him super juiced. 84 pace, that goes to 99. 87 dribbling, that goes to 99. 88 in shooting and 85 passing goes to 99. 82 physical would go to 97. Stoichkov could be a beast, even without super juicing. He just could be an absolute tank up front. That 88 shooting and 82 physical is going to be deadly. Next up, guys, second highest rated uh, player. We've got Franco Baresi, the center back. There's a lot of new defenders in the game this year. 76 pace, 94 defending with 82 physical. A crazy good center back card. And last but not least, guys, we've got Franz Beckenbauer, the number one left. Legend of FIFA 15, or at least the one of the new legends. 82 pace, 94 defending, 81 physical, and 83 passing. Absolutely insane. Three star skill moves, three star weak foot. That card looks so sick, like so, so sick. And uh, I am super pumped for the legends. Put in the comment section below, guys, which one of these 15 new legends is your favorite. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, you could leave a like rating, and I'm out. Peace.